See, it's a question of do you really believe nothing is impossible with God? The virgin birth. Here's the question. What's your moral equivalent to the virgin birth right now? What is that hope, that dream, that if God could do anything in your life for His glory and your good, you would pray, God, make it so. I hand it over to you, except there's a part of you that just thinks impossible. Years ago, J.B. Phillips wrote a Christian classic called Your God is Too Small. He argued that the trouble with most of us is that the God that we worship is not big enough for our modern needs, our modern anxieties, shall we say, for our perma crises. The great reformer Martin Luther one time told a friend, your thoughts of God are too human. That describes me as I thought about it devotionally. You know, it's kind of like the Greek gods and the Roman gods. They weren't really gods at all. They were just bigger-sized human beings with a little bit bigger power and a little bit bigger foibles. And so I tend to look at God, I think, that way as well. Do I, do I really believe that God is God, that nothing is impossible with God? I'm guilty of thinking God can move mountains for others, but he won't for me. God can answer prayers for others, but not for me. God can lead others and do immeasurably more than all we could ever ask or imagine. I really do believe God can do it for others and people in the past, but my thing is impossible. And so we fill our lives with anxieties and doubts and fears and hopelessness and permacrises because our God is too small to handle them. The irony is we kind of prefer him to be small, don't we? A small God is manageable and predictable. We can explain him away with materialistic explanations. A small God is not sovereign over us. We control him. A small God doesn't shape us, we shape him. A, God, a small God doesn't tell us what to do, we tell him what is moral and what's not, what's loving and what's not. It's so much easier to believe in a God that we create in our own image. But a small God, small enough to be defined and shaped by us, is not big enough to be worshiped. He's certainly not big enough to be trusted. So the words of the angel ring out again, nothing is impossible with God. 